Well, if you had any doubt before, fall is here and I'm already cold. I'm Sammy Joe Francis with another edition of Charlotte Insider. This is the last full week of October. This week, police cracking down on drivers around school buses, but first, feds eyeing an incident at Charlotte Douglas. A suspicious note found on an inbound flight from Buffalo temporarily grounded a plane while federal authorities searched it on Monday. The plane was left on a secluded tarmac away from the terminal and all the passengers and crew were taken off. WBTV has obtained a memo from U.S. Pilots Association that outlines their concerns about suspicious behavior on some flights. And if you still want to fly after all of that, U.S. Airways is adding all new non-stop international flights out of Charlotte. You can now get to Manchester, Brussels, Lisbon and Barcelona non-stop. With these new flights, passengers will now be able to fly from Charlotte Douglas to a total of 38 international destinations. If you drive in Charlotte, make sure you're aware, not just now, but always around school bus stops. Police are paying close attention to bus stops, making sure drivers pay attention to the signals, the flashing lights, the stop signs, the giant arm that swings out from the front of the bus. Since 1998, 13 students in North Carolina have been killed by drivers illegally passing a stopped bus or ignoring its stop signal. Good news if you're in the market for a new iPad. Bad news if you just bought the latest next generation iPad. Apple announced this week the arrival of the new iPad Air. The fifth generation iPad is lighter and faster than the other new one that just came out a few months ago. Bank of America has a plan for a new checking account that won't allow customers to overdraw their accounts. Right now, if a customer makes an ATM withdrawal or automatic bill payment and the account is short, you get hit with a hefty fee. If B of A moves forward with this, the Charlotte-based company would be the first big bank to stop the overdrafts and lose the revenue. Here's our picks for the places you'll want to be seen this weekend. There are two big shows at Time Warner Cable Arena, Michael Buble on Saturday night and Selena Gomez on Sunday. Or if you want to hear some good old rock and roll, head to the Visualite Friday night. Will Hogue will be there at 8 o'clock with Red One and Blue opening. Saturday, a favorite Uptown haunt gets resurrected for the Gravediggers Ball at Dixie's Tavern in Uptown. Hip-hop hitmaker Flo Rada will take the stage. The party starts at 6 o'clock. And if you're a fan of the cult classic Rocky Horror Picture Show, watch it on the big screen at Neighborhood Theater Saturday night. Screening starts at 11.30. As for the weekend weather, cool temps and sunny skies on the agenda. If October means crisp mornings and cool sunny days to you, this is going to be your favorite weekend of the fall. That'll do it for this week's Insider. I've got to go turn my heat on and find a costume. Join us every Thursday on WBTV.com. Follow us on Twitter at CLT Insider. Keep up with us and we'll keep you up with Charlotte. I'm Sammy Jo Francis. Have a great weekend.